What's up YouTube? This is Santos representing Neo Overlay Network and it's been a while but I wanted to show you guys a Spyro deck profile. I built this deck because other all the cards were really cheap and it got hit so yeah I wanted to show you guys what you could what people are running nowadays and for this format and show you what cards work really well and what cards can go well in this deck so let's get these things started so the first three of you run three spiral gear drone because it's your starter lets you do everything you need for your spiral uh, arch type because spiral likes to see the top three cards of your deck and for spiral gear drone lets you rearrange them however you want and its other effect is when it's on the field you could tribute it and so for one of your spiral monsters to gain 500 attack for each card your opponent controls and as a lot of effect is when it's in the graveyard you could banish it and another spiral uh, card to add a spiral uh, super agent to your hand so it has those three effects that you sometimes need in, when it's in the graveyard but you usually use it because it, it's a hard normal summon in your deck that you want to see your top three cards of your opponent so it starts everything and yeah so three is optimal and it got off the ban list a few months ago so cool so you run three super agent spiros because he's your extender because when he's in your hand you could declare a card type to and if you uh, call it right your opponent uh, you could special summon from your hand so he takes uh, the first card of his deck the top card of his deck and if you call it right he gets special summoned by his effect and his other effect is if he's special summoned by a spiral uh, card uh, effect uh, you could destroy, uh, destroy a set spell and trap or just a spell and trap so I mean he did, when he he special summoned with his own effect you could do that so he's just your extender and you need two spiral monsters to bring out your spiral helix so you want to maximize all these spiral cards your other three uh, spiral uh, monsters is spiral tough he's your hard also hard normal summon but he is a heavy attack he has a 1900 attack his effect is that you could declare a card type and if you call it right you could destroy one uh, uh, card your opponent controls so he that's an activation when it's your turn and it's pretty good when uh, you know going second because you could just destroy something but he has a hard normal summon and for this deck you'd really do need your two spiral monsters so to bring out double helix so that's why I maximize him he is kind of breaking your hand but it's necessary because you need to go to your link too your other two of I run is Spyro Gear Last Resort because you want to use him with Sleeper obviously if you don't know his effect is that you can uh, equip him with one of your Spyro monsters and it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects so with Sleeper is that you could uh, you know equip it with him and then you could use his effect to destroy a Spyro card a Spyro card and but you will destroy it himself but because spiral gear is equipped with him he gets that protection and he doesn't get destroyed and that's what pretty much you use him uh, like mostly for other than that uh you could equip it with any other monster i just decided to run two because one is sometimes just enough uh with any deck sometimes <laughs> running one or two is just sometimes not enough but two is fine here i run two sliper sleeper because uh, you will see later in the spell slots that uh, I run something that lets you search him so it technically I have three copies but I run two because he's good in your hand because you want to special summon him by it can't be a normal summon or set he needs to be special summoned by banishing three spiral cards from your graveyard so cards it doesn't have to be monsters it just has to be cards and you special summon him and then he does that thing when you could target a spiral card or monster that you control and destroy it and you could target two uh, cards your opponent controls and destroy it and it's last effect is it if it gets destroyed by battle or uh, by card effect and it's uh, you could destroy all other cards you control to special summon another uh, spiral super agent from your deck hand or graveyard so he has that you that very end effect depending on you and if depending on the situation you could use but you primarily you want to special summon him and he's not bad seeing him in your hand because you do want to see him sometimes in your hand because it extends you further and you could if you could get spiral gear and him on the field it's pretty good so yeah two is fine so i want to spiral one quick fix because he's the hard one that you can special summon and he's his effect is not hard once per turn 
And when you special summon or normal summon, you could add a spiral card or spiral gear card from your deck to your hand. So you could pretty much spam this effect often when you do your combos. So he's really good at one. All right, for the other engine that I run, I run three Tenny Spear at Hara. I see people run Magician Souls, and it's a good option too. It's just that I'm trying to take consider uh, a budget, a more budget deck, and Tenny Spear at Hara does pretty much the same. You just want to spend some at level one to use one of your XYZ monsters, and I'll show a little bit later. And just it's an easy special summon just by if you control no effect monsters, you could just special summon it. And it, it is a level one earth tuner, and yeah, just a extender for your deck because it needs it. And it's a nice level one for the same reason. Now for the X next engine, I run three righty drivers and the one lefty driver. It's just that when you're when I was running uh, spirals without a uh, right driver it's just that I run a machine duplication and uh, I just wanted to see it more live when you just run your hornet drones and machine duplications you will have times that you don't open none of them or you open up machine duplication but no targets to use it so I ran so I decided to run right driver because he is uh, you know uh, his attack is 100 so I mean you could use machine duplication so it becomes more live and then you just need two monsters to make a uh, dragoon so that's the main reason I brought these guys out and if you normal summon righty driver it lets you search lefty driver and when you, left, you have righty driver in your field you could special up in your lefty driver so uh, yeah that's pretty much uh, why I use them just an extender and a machine duplication target so now for some hand traps I run two DD chrome uh, one is okay if you really want to run one two it's fine as well because you could search it using your XYZ monster. Her name is Lurlusk, and it so pretty much your it's a way you can always search it. So I mean, one is fine if you want to make space. Two is optimal because sometimes seeing it in your hand nowadays for this type of meta, you know, like it's fine too. So two is fine. Now for the one of monsters, I run one Misty Valley Valley Apex Avion because. I run one Misty v uh, Valley Thunderbird and the one Barrier Statue because the XYZ monster that Spirals likes to bring out, it's uh, Winged Beast and it's easy to bring out uh, Sid Moore, the Link monster, and then plus you, uh, there's ways you could use Union Carrier to bring Misty v Valley Thunderbird and you could do that Infinite Lock or you could just end up with a Barrier Statue and uh, you know some more luck and depends on you and how conservative you want to go full on your combo or not and it's uh, somewhat necessary for this build and the other one of I run one dark uh, magician and right eyes black dra dragon because you know self explanatory now for the spells I run two spiral gear big red why because Mostly because it lets you special summon a monster, a spider monster from your graveyard and it can't be destroyed by battle. And it's, uh, it's easy because Quick Fix lets you add a spiral gear card so you pretty much use Quick Fix to search your spiral gear, big red if you don't have it already and it just lets you extend a little bit further. So two is fine, three can get cloggy and it's searchable so that's why. So one spiral resort, its effect is that once, uh, once per turn you could add a spiral monster to your hand. And if it's not uh, by the end of the phase, if it's not uh, not destroyed, you gotta send one monster uh, from your graveyard to your deck to leave it on the field. If not, it gets destroyed. So I mean, <laughs> just a one of. <laughs> so next one of I run Spiral Gear fully armored because it lets you equip it to your Spiral Monster. It gains a thousand, and when it destroys a monster in battle, it gets banished. So it has that, and then you could search it. One of is fine because you primarily search it. So. The next one of, or pretty much you could say you have three copies, is one Foolish Burial Goods plus the one Spyro Mission Assault. Because if this card's in your graveyard, you could banish it to special summon a Spyro monster from your hand. So it just lets you extend, and when it's activated, uh, if a Spyro card uh, effect is activated and destroys a card, it lets you draw a card. So it's just those three things, that, or those two things that really make it okay. Two is fine if you really want to run two. I just run one run one because I uh, run the Foolish Barrier Goods to send it to the graveyard and yeah so pretty much three copies. 
Now I run the three machine duplication for the same reason. Like I was saying, when I was running just uh, Hornet drones by itself uh, in the deck without any other machine dupl uh, duplication targets, it just it sucked because you will have like uh, one or the other, or if not, just have machine duplication with no other target, and that kind of sucks. And and now that you, if you run the righty and lefty driver, another honorable mentions on those cards is like. Despot 001 and you could use those cards too because it does the pretty much the same thing you could use machine duplication to bring them out and I just like the lefty and righty driver because I guess for my build and uh, my play style I like it better so three machine duplication is awesome so now for the one of spells I run one dark spirit mastery uh, another replacement card that you could use that's a little bit cheaper is chaos space however with Chaos Space, you have to send a, a light or dark monster, and you, if you can see, Spirals doesn't have no lights and dark monsters. Plus, what I uh, run in my deck, the pure earth machines, or uh, no darks or lights. So, the only dark card is uh, DD Crow. And to see that plus, uh, you know, Chaos Space together is pretty much, your chances are very limited. But you will search Spiral, uh, you know, Chaos Space will search you Sleeper, but this card does the same thing, because... It's just not, you just need to discard one card from your hand and just one card from your hand to search a level 8 fiend so I mean that's easier requiring to uh, fulfill versus you know chaos space that you have to send a light or dark monster to search the other light or dark monsters whatever you sent to the graveyard the opposite to your hand and so yeah that kind of clogs you in a way so it's just one dark spirit master because I run two fiend, uh, you know spiral sleeper so that's three copies you could do one and one, or one, or, you know, instead of um, two Sleeper, uh, you could be two Dark Spirit Masteries and one Sleeper, but I just like seeing him in my hand, and because I, I don't like to discard one card, because with Spiral, there's, how you say, uh, it's it's uh, powerful when it gets started, but you with your resources, you don't end up with anything in your hand or like you just waste too much resources and so that's why i rather not discard a card with dark spirit mastery i just rather have an extra sleeper because he's okay in your hand so yeah so for another one spell i run one double summon because it's a hard another summon that you could do another normal summon so sometimes when i have a lefty driver or righty driver i could use it again when i use double summon because it's another normal summon and his effect goes off, so that's pretty much it. You could do, you could run two. I just that for the space, this is a 50 card deck, so uh, just for space, I just ran one. For another one of, obviously, Red Eyes Fusion. Guess you guys know that. One for one. Send one monster, special summon your level one. It could be Hornet Drones, whatever you really need. A Terraforming to search your field spell. The other level one, or one spell card is Harpy Feather Duster. This could be anything you want. Doesn't really matter. I just for space to bank it 50. So now for the traps, I run two different dimensional ground. This could be anything you really want. It could be Crackdown, different dimensional what? Dimension ground. What's the other one? Dimensional barrier. Anything you really want. Want pretty much. It's just uh, here just to. Because I'm going first, I want to be able to see these cards going first. It gives me, you know, something uh, going, uh, you know, after my first turn. I want to have these cards plus something as a board. And for right now, because it's a mid-range format, it kind of goes well. And for the last two, I run two Solomon Judgments. Because same reason, just I want to open one of these six traps. If you're going second, you could... Uh, you know, change all these six uh, traps for, you know, hand traps or anything. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I just wanted to make this deck going first because uh, I just thought making the Simor Law going first is okay versus you could go second and do some other stuff. And you'll see my extra deck why I say I'm going second. So that's all the deck, you guys. Let's go over the extra deck monsters. For the first. You, I run one Link Karibo because you do have a lot of level ones and Link Karibo is awesome because you know especially summon him. Another uh, honorable mention is you know, Relinquish Anima. It's just that I'm going first. Relinquish Anima doesn't 
offer me that much going first because you need your points to have monsters to use this effect so that's why I decided to just not run relinqu Relinquish Anima. So one Link Karibo, one IP Mascarina because I'm going first. I want to set up a some type of board with the Nightmare Unicorn because you know you want to go uh, ex uh, Link Summon right away using IP. I run two double uh, Spiral Double Helix. Two is enough because three is just for to save, save space in your extra deck. It just lets you uh, declare one card type from uh, uh, one declare one card type, and if uh, your opponent uh, reveals the top card of his deck and you call it right, you can special summon or add a spiral monster to your hand, or special summon it to where he points at. So you will use that to special summon whatever you need, mostly sp uh, spiral quick fix, and you use his, his effect. But it has to be two spiral monsters. That's can't stress that enough because you that's kind of things what sucks with spirals too there's not enough main monster uh deck for spirals so that's hard to come by when you're playing against your opponent so two is fine next i run one union carrier because i could do the some log with this deck and it's, it's fine one uh verde anaconda because you know dragoon one borload Boral sword dragon because he's just your Link 4 bo boss monster, another level 4, or uh, Link 4 boss monster except access code talker. It could be arbitrary. This is whatever you really want, doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever you have and own, just use them except, uh, you know, change them for access code talker and it's fine. And for the other link, is that one, Sigmore, Birdo, yeah. Uh, I was running too, just that when you go first or even playing multiple duels. You really resolve one. Going second, you really it's hard to cook. Uh, you know, you don't ever go to the second one. So uh, I needed to bite the bullet and not put the second one because I want to have versatility in my extra deck. And so just one is fine. And the other X Y Z monster that I run is the level or uh, rank one Liralesque because it's easy to do in this deck. You have a lot of level one monsters, and the hard effect is that when it's X Y Z summon, you could target one of your monsters against I think 500 or 300 yeah 300 attack for each material and defense for each material it has so against uh 600 when she comes out and plus you could detach X, uh, xyz material to search a uh, level one wing beast monster so you that's where you will search your dd crow and that's what you primarily use your for good one of and another one of material beast because you do have uh, at least you have five i think three super agent and two last resort so that's five uh level four earth and you have a lot of level one earth tuners and so like i'm saying like i'm going first if i could I at least have him plus dragoon that's fine you know going first if that's like if you have to end up but just a good one of and the last one of is red eyes a uh, dark dragoon and that's pretty much it you guys that's uh spirals is a fun deck if you really want to play it right now it's pretty slow it's recovery slow but it's very cheap so if you think about getting it i guess time now is the time to get it because all the cards are cheap and that's pretty much it for me you guys this is santos representing the overlay network sign out